Hey guys, it's Miss Griffey, and oh my gosh, we just got so much new information about The Sims 4 Vampires game pack, which is coming out on January 24th, so we're only a couple days away from its release, but there was a Sims 4 Vampires live stream, um, like, it just ended, so I just finished watching it. I posted about it earlier on my Facebook page, but if you didn't get to see it, I will put a link down below to the original uh, broadcast so you can go back and watch that live stream for yourself. The first thing that they showed us in this live stream was we were brought in to create a sim, and we got to see a lot of the new aspects of that, um, starting with the fact that you can have a normal form and a dark form, just as we thought, and that you can transform between these two um, forms at will during as your sim um, but you can also not have a dark form if you don't want one you can delete that if you want it also if you're turned into a vampire in game you will have a randomly generated dark form but you can go back into cast and edit that as you want or delete it so it's like fully customizable so for some of the aspects that were added in create a sim we have really cool glow in the dark eyes uh, that are for your vampires. I, I don't know if you can use these for other sims. I know some of the things in here are for anybody, but I think the glowing eyes might just be for vampires. Uh, there was like new brow. Um, I think they're in the brow category, but new features for your face to make your sims look like dead or older or whatever. Um, and it's separate from makeup, so you can have makeup on top of that. There's also new cracks and scars that your sims can have on their face to make them look more like they're vampires or undead of some sort. And there's a couple different options for vampire fangs. Some are more scary, some are more, I guess, typical uh, vampire teeth, so that's a really cool thing. We also got a chance to look at some of the new aspirations that this pack is giving. So we have vampire family or like wanting to have a vampire family. I think that's like turning a bunch of people into vampires. I guess we'll, f I, I don't think they fully explained that. So we'll have to find out when uh, this pack is released. But there's also master vampire because your sims can rank up in uh, their vampire skills and become a master vampire. So gaining that level of master Mastery? What's the word? <laughs> Gaining, like, being that high up in uh, rankings as a vampire uh, is that aspiration. And there's also being a good vampire. So um, I'm assuming that means, like, not drinking from humans, but I'm not really sure on that. So we're going to have to figure that out. There are a whole bunch of new objects brought into this game. So we started off going to Vlad's house, which is, like, the strongest vampire in the town. He kind of overlooks uh, this new town, which is called forgotten hollow so he is up there and he overlooks it and this is like what the town looks like a little bit and like the map icon for it which is really cool but some of the new things we have in this game um as far as objects go is we have an organ um which i think is really cool it's a full new skill for your sims to learn it's 10 different skill levels like most skills and they start really bad like normal and they can get really good at it and i think it's a really cool thing that fits perfectly in with this game some other new objects we got included a pull uh, to flush toilet, uh, a radiator, which I don't think is functional, but I think it's a really cool thing to add to our Sims games. Uh, we actually got a really cute new, cute new toy for our children and toddlers called Bercula. So <laughs> they have a new toy to play with that fits the theme of this pack a little bit better, which is awesome. And for kids and toddlers, and I think teenagers, but I'm not sure, but definitely kids and toddlers. Oh, wait just kids and toddlers um they can be born as vampires but their powers are not really going to come to until they're teenagers however like you'll be able to see as long as they are full vampires and like both of their parents kind of look like vampires you're gonna be able to tell that they are in fact vampires when they are little speaking of which um if you have two full vampires they will definitely have a vampire baby however if you have one vampire and one non-vampire it's kind of a 50 50 chance which kind of brings me to the fact that there's new lot traits which is so exciting and one of them is on lay dark line so kind of like that on the line uh lot trait that we got with city living that makes it so it's an increased chance of having triplets or double doubles <laughs> twins increased chance of having twins this version of it is an increased chance of your child being born a vampire so that's really helpful if you have like one human and one vampire and you want to have a vampire baby 
So that's really awesome. But there are also some other lot traits um, that are, you can have a registered vampire lair, which is going to be really great for uh, your starter off vampire, your first one that doesn't know what's going on. I know I'm going to want a lot with this. Uh, it basically registers your lot as you are a vampire, you are living there, and you're going to get sent packages of like plasma supplies and things like that because they want to help you out and ensure that you're successful in your new eternal life as a vampire. So I think that's really awesome. There's also one last lot trait, which is called Vampire Nexus. Uh, this lot trait makes it so vampires are more prone to show up on your doorstep. And there's like one lot in Forgotten Hollow already that has this trait. Um, and there's kind of like a story behind it or whatever. But it makes it so vampires are more there. They kind of compared it to like vampire catnip, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, but if you have vampires coming to your house and you want them to stay away, you can actually put garlic around the house. And that should help. Vampires don't want to be near it. It stinks really bad to them. So if your human sim sees it, it's just going to look like regular garlic. I, I'm not sure if it's going to be smelly to them or not but if a vampire is viewing that same garlic it's going to have like fumes coming off of it it's going to be something they definitely want to stay away from so i mentioned that your sims can rank up as vampires and when they rank up it's through like doing vampire interactions i believe like um fighting other vampires and just doing all kinds of crazy vampire stuff um obviously we'll learn more about that as the game comes out but as you get those points you're able to purchase vampire perks or powers so you might be able to um, go way faster or you can actually turn into a bat which is really cool and as you get these perks you also each level up in vampire ranking you have to pick a weakness and these range in all kinds of different things you can choose from from uh, uncontrollable hissing so <laughs> like you know, you're just having a conversation and you just can't stop hissing and that can make other people uncomfortable. Um, another one that I think is kind of obvious, but like very good that they added was like weakness to sunlight. You can have a sim that, uh, a vampire that's not weak at all to sunlight. Or you could have one that is so weak that, you know, they, they're going to die instantly. And these weaknesses can be ranked up to, I think, three. Um, so when your sim picks a new weakness, they can pick a new one completely or they can rank up one they already have to make it worse. Um, but speaking of one of those uh, benefits that we can't have, like turning into a bat, um, you can fly around as a bat at any point in time or you could fly around as mist. These are both different um, perks you can get. I believe the bat is like a level one thing, whereas the mist I think is only for master vampires. So we didn't actually get to see that in this, but... <sighs> crazy thing about bats, which I think is really, really cool and kind of strange, is you can actually have bat woohoo. So if you have two vampire sims and they're both transformed as bats, they can actually woohoo as bats. And they didn't hint, like, they hinted at this, but they didn't, like, tell us exactly what. But if your sims are both transformed into bats and they try for a baby and they conceive, there's a chance, or I'm not sure if it's chance or definite, but something special is going to be about that baby when it is born. So I'm, like, really curious. Like, is it going to be, like, a bat baby? Like, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely excited to figure that out. So there's another new skill added that's sort of like a skill, but it's more just like knowledge-based, is your sims can study vampire lore. And this is actually a 15-point skill where they're just learning more about vampires, and you can do this by reading books or starting on the internet, uh, whichever works better for you. And I think that's going to be really interesting to learn more and more about the vampire species in the sims. Um, but <laughs> one thing we haven't addressed yet, two very important things is vampire sleeping and vampire eating and needs. So vampires can sleep in regular beds or they can sleep in coffins and we actually have a few different types of coffins. We have like a more basic like wood one and we have like a generic one and then we have a really fancy one like what Vlad has in his house. Um, and they can sleep in those. They can also woohoo in those. So that's really cool. I should have pictures up of a vampire woohoo right now. Um, <laughs> it's really cool. I'm excited. It actually spe it takes a really long time. They played it on like regular speed they didn't speed it up and we're like oh wow <laughs> this is this is quite a lot right now but um as far as eating goes they do not need to eat food they just need to drink and they don't have to go to the bathroom I don't think I think that's what they said but they have new toilets so I'm not sure but when it comes to drinking we are able to politely ask somebody if we can have a drink from them and that will go I don't know 
it could go well, it could not go well. It really depends on your relationship with that sim. And so if they don't like it, they're going to be like, no, what are you talking about? No, you can't drink my blood or my plasma. <laughs> but if you guys know each other pretty well, they're probably going to be like, oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and take a drink. Um, alternatively, since that doesn't always work, your sim might be very thirsty and they're out somewhere and they don't know anyone and like they don't have plasma, they are going to be able to influence using <laughs> their vampire powers to influence somebody to let them take a drink and they can take a small drink or a deep drink and they can just like basically hypnotize that person into agreeing, which I think is really interesting. And of course you can also turn sims into vampires. Alternatively with that, vampires in addition well i mean vampires can turn your sims into vampires however if you're a human sim you can go and ask a vampire to turn you into a vampire and this conversion takes a couple of days to go through um and during this time we found out during this broadcast that your sim is going to slowly starve to death basically they're going to be really hungry and no matter how much food they eat it's not going to help them and they're basically going to die and be reborn into their dark form so i think that was a really cool feature they added that basically food is just not going to help them fulfill their need up until that point where they transform into a vampire i just think that's really awesome great attention to detail i'm so excited about that some sims are not the biggest fan of drinking from other sims though so there are alternatives to that we have plasma trees which can grow the fruit plasma for your sims to either eat or drink from there's also a couple different drinks they can have so there's like a alcoholic version like a bloody mary that is called the plasma jane so i thought that was kind of cute there's also like plasma juice pouches and all kinds of alternative versions another recipe they added though is there's a vampire cure so you can actually cure people of being vampires um if they just don't want to be a vampire and they want to be a human again, that's an option if you make the vampire cure. Additionally, if you have two vampires fighting, you can attempt to slay a vampire. Um, you might be able to do this with humans too, I'm not sure, but with two vampires you definitely can. They showed it in the broadcast. You can attempt to slay a vampire if you have that cure in your inventory so that if you win, that a uh, vampire will be cured of being a vampire so you're slaying them they are human again they lose all of their powers so i thought that was pretty cool too there's actually quite a few new objects in this pack that are going to be really awesome for both gameplay with vampires and for other purposes one that's more so for vampires is we have a new bassinet for babies uh that is really <laughs> vampire themed it has a cute little bat on top i think it's really cool you can use this for any sim baby as well though you just place that so that when your sim gives birth it'll spawn into that bassinet additionally we have cool new rugs there are runner rugs that go in hallways and there's like regular size pieces and then there's end pieces and extension pieces so you can make a rug as long or as short as you want it's fully customizable i think that is going to be so helpful in so many builds and then i think my favorite things well, I'll get to my favorite things in a moment, <laughs> but we also have some like new roof decorations and railings and all kinds of stuff like that. But my favorite, my favorite things is we have a bunch of decals for walls that make it look like your house is run down. You can have cracks in your walls. You can have water damage. There is ivy you can have growing. There can be holes in the walls. There's spider webs that have spiders actually crawling around in them. I think this is just it's going to make your vampire builds look amazing. It's going to make your old rinky-dink apartments look horrible. It's going to be really awesome for all of our gameplay. And I can't wait to do some builds with it. I, it's just going to be great. Last but not least, we got some new um, statues. And there's a variety of statues. And you can actually interchange them there's separate pedestals and statues so you can have different statues and different pedestals and put them however you want and there's a bunch of them and i think those are going to look really cool for your vampire builds and just spooky victorian homes overall there is so much to uncover with this pack so i probably didn't cover it all so please go watch that broadcast if you haven't already but please let me know what you're so excited about for this pack what's your favorite thing what are you looking forward to the most i'm I'm just blown away with how much detail is been put into this new vampire game pack that we're getting on Tuesday. So I will see you guys on Tuesday for a brand new vampire LP. So get hyped for that. I know I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, but <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think is going to be the best part or what you're looking forward to the most in this new vampire pack. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.